Hi everyone, so this is high, binomial hypothesis testing. We've got this and then we've got moments left. Now I'm wondering, because we spent so long on the normal hypothesis testing, if we can actually do these in one go. If I do a couple of the examples uh, on the videos, um, for the finding the, the probabilities to test it, and then a couple of examples on the finding the critical regions, the inverse ones, uh, that that might be enough and we can just do the others in class. Right, so let's have a look at this question then. So it says standard treatment for a particular medical condition has a success rate of 30%. So I know P is 0.3, because remember this is binomial. A new drug is launched, which is claimed treats a greater proportion. So greater proportion, so I'm already thinking greater than. Uh, a doctor tries a new drug on 20 patients, so when he's 20, and finds that it successfully treats 11 of them. So 11 of them is the test stat, the X bar that we had from the last one. I think I might put X bar down, actually. I'll just put X is 11. Uh, do it at the 1% significance level. Right, so define the, the, um, the, the thing. So let x equal the number of people who are successfully treated, number of patients. Remember, we're binomial, you should always do that, shouldn't we? So x follows a binomial of 20, 0.3. So remember that the same thing stays the same. So the null hypothesis that H0, now this naught, this time it's the P value that we're looking at, not the mu. So we're testing P. So we're saying it should be stay, stay 0.3. Now the alternate, to see if it's more successful, so I'm saying that actually P is greater than 0.3. There. Now this, this example is missing the, the significance level. So it's a 1% sig level. And the tail, so it's a one tail, and it's the top 0 0.01. So this is exactly the same, like I said. So it says, note it's a proportion that is on trial uh, in this test, so null and alternative I defined in terms of P. So we've got that. So now I've got the, so I've done the, the null, the alternate, the significance level, the tail. So now I've got the test. So the test, so I've got to pick out the test stat. So that's x is 11. Now because it's the top, I'm going to do the probability that x is greater than or equal to 11. So we're just doing that on b, c, d. So we're doing b, c, d, the lower 11, the upper 20, uh, N, 20, P, 0.3. So nothing new there, is there? So that gives me a probability of 0.017. So if you think about it, that's bigger than 0.001, isn't it? So for my conclusion, the 0.017 is bigger than the 0.01, so I accept H0. There is not sufficient evidence, there is not sufficient evidence at the 1% significance level to suggest the, what was the testing? That the new treatment is more successful. The new treatment it's more successful four minutes 27 uh -huh. and we've done the whole thing exactly the same if you were doing it at speed you could do it in about three minutes but i'm going to stop that bit there and now i'm tempted that one's just the less than this next one uh, i think he's just the less one less than isn't it uh yeah, biased against it, so we're less than. So same same layout for that one. So we might do that one in class, maybe. In class. Right, I'm going to go now. Bye.